here are three quick takeaways from the game last night. G'day guys, welcome back to Steelers Nation Australia. We got a win, as you can see down the bottom of my screen, quarter four, Steelers win 26-22. Crazy, crazy game. Uh, we're going to talk about this all week and the problems and all that kind of stuff. We have a lot of time before the Raiders game coming up, but I want to get this off my black and gold chest. That game was crazy. The fact that the defense scored 14 points and Boswell scored some points too. And yes, we didn't score many on offense. And I'm going to go through three takeaways. And they are going to be defense. I'm going to talk about that. The offense, right, with Matt Canada and everything to do with that. And also Kenny Pickett. I have seen numerous tweets out there, numerous Facebooks, whatever. Uh, public opinion, sure. That Kenny Pickett, he was bad. But people want to bench him. They want to give up on him, say he's a bust. A lot of you guys out there liked him in the offseason. You liked him in preseason. He has one bad, bad game and we want to move on from him. Makes no sense. I just don't understand it. But let's start with the, the, the positive first. The positive first, my first takeaway is defense. The defense played unbelievable football today. Yes, there were... Some holes on the de on the uh, the running, you know, the yards were, were were going past us like crazy. Couldn't stop the run. The big play for seventy yards. But what I saw today was a football game. It was AFC North football? Guys were hitting hitting each other really hard. We had the unfortunate injury to 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 Nick Chubb. Uh, hopefully, Minka Fitzpatrick's good with with his injury. Guys were hitting each other super hard. It was AFC North football. We had uh, the D-line, I thought, played well in certain spots. We had JPJ played some good some good uh, plays too, getting pass deflections. You know, Levi Wallace, he got burnt in certain areas. So did Patrick Peterson. I thought Minka made up for it. Kazi had some good plays and then some bad ones. And you know what? To be very honest, you can't have a perfect game. You can't. If you have a perfect game, you're going to beat teams by 41 to 0 or 45 or 47, 48 to 3. Right, it's not a perfect world. So you want to play sixty minutes of football. There are going to be other times where the offense wins in certain plays, right? But in, in a lot of times in this game, and the defense, if I were to grade it, I give it A or an A plus because the big highlight for me was Highsmith, and also guys, I'm going to share the reaction later on today. I'm going to put it all together. Was Highsmith getting that pick six from Minka? Broke up the play. Then he, then he got the pick six, run to the house, house call 7-0, right? He also got, um, I think Heisman's got a sack. Uh, TJ Watt got his sack, and congratulations to TJ Watt too. The guy's a champion. He's a legend. He's a future Hall of Famer in the making. He's now got 81 sacks and 81 and a half sacks, and he's an all-time leader. Uh, Pittsburgh still have the most sacks. So defense to me was unreal. And then, yes, they need to work on things, but it's football, it's football. There are so many things that we can work on. Anyways, other than that, though, I feel like overall the team showed up when they needed to. They had the forced fumble from uh, Montrevious Adams was in there too. We saw some some big hits from Corn Alexander, Elena Roberts. You know, they went to the goal line. They 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 stopped him at the goal line after they got in. They got in the the, the, the play after. But things to me, the defense played really good football and good at AFC North football as well. That's the first takeaway I want to talk about. And then we're going to wrap it up too at the end. The second takeaway. Right, and by the way, we won. The Steelers won. A lot of fans out there just aren't happy about the win. They want to fire Tomlin. They want to, they want to, we'll talk about Canada. They want to fire everyone, but just the, we won. The Steelers won. You should be happy or content. Yes, they're going to improve, but you should be feeling something about this team. It was good. It was good. It's good to win. Anyways, offensively speaking. Right, uh, Matt Canada, the offense bad. Kenny Pickett didn't play good. They had a few good plays. Uh, Pickett to Pickens was to the end zone, seventy-one yards. They had some good plays to Joe and Warren. I thought he stood out. He had a good go. Uh, we didn't see much of Connor Hayward. They didn't use much of Frymuth. Got two yards. That wasn't happening. There needs to be a change. Or as a as a fan base, and I think the media's we we're all thinking that Matt Canada is not the guy for the future. Now, will they change? 
I don't think so. I really don't think so. I think we're stuck with what we got, like that vanilla offense. But we heard the chance in the stands, and the offense was bad. It was really bad. They couldn't run the football with Najee. I still believe that Najee can be a number one. Everybody was on him about not being number one. And then in the next minute, he starts to ice the game and gets first downs, and he ends up getting 40 yards in the game. Yes, it's only 40 yards, but overall, the offense was bad. The offensive line was really bad too. That was pretty terrible for how they played, and Kenny was getting rushed all game. So if you're going to say that Kenny was playing bad and he's trash, he's a bust, yada, 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 while we go up and get him, then you have to go back to the, the whole offense needs to improve and get better. That's just a fact, 100%. So let's wrap it up. And I'm going to finish on my last point, that being the third takeaway. The defense was unreal. MVP was TJ Watt. Highsmith played good too. He had the, the, the forced fumble, the interception. TJ Watt got his, his touchdown. Fantastic. Actually, the MVP could be both those blokes. It could be Highsmith and TJ Watt, right? But let's finish on something that I've been seeing around the internet quite a bit. They, they, they're, calling for Kenny's, they're calling for Kenny's job. They're saying that Kenny Pickett's not the guy. Kenny Pickett's not franchise. Kenny Pickett can't be the, the quarterback to lead them into the, for the next five, seven years. Have we been seeing what's been playing around the NFL with Joe Burrow sign the big contract? He's not doing too well either. Did we see on the other side of the field that Deshaun Watson had a really bad day, got sacked six times by our elite defense, and he had a pretty awful day? And everyone's so quick to judge and move on from the quarterback that we have right now is Kenny Pickett. I even saw retweets out there and tweets out there saying that they should put in Mitchell Trubisky next game, or they should bench Kenny at halftime. You don't do that to a second-year quarterback. You keep moving forward with this quarterback and you keep trying to get better. And here's the crazy part that I just don't understand and how fan bases give up so easily on quarterbacks or players even like Najee Harris so quickly. It's been two years with Kenny Pickett. He started from the Jets game as a rookie. And now he's only played two games into his second year. And also he played one of the hardest defenses that was a 49ers defense. That was crazy. And they're number one uh, in, in the NFL power rankings. They're, they're a crazy defense. And also, they, they, he just played the Browns in AFC North football. You're so quick to judge. judge, So quick to judge Kenny Pickett uh, with, with, this, with, with him going forward. I don't see why you would want to bench him. Not saying all fans. I'm just saying I see the fan base and you just oh – my, it's sometimes frustrating. You get the win. You win 26-22. And you want to bench the guy. Makes no sense to me at all. You guys can come at me in the comments if you want to. Bench him because he's this. He played terribly. He threw the ball over this way. I don't see him as a franchise. But during the preseason and the offseason, everybody loved him. Everybody thought Kenny could be the guy. And after eight quarters, we want to give up because he's versed the 49ers and, and the Browns defense, which played pretty good football today. Like I said, a football game broke out. You want to bench the guy? Don't see it. I just don't see it. Anyways, let me wrap up. Defense today was unreal. Sorry, last night was was unreal. TJ Watt was fantastic. Highsmith was great. Uh, The pressure they got to to Watson, six sacks, fumbles, uh, was, you know, unreal. Interceptions, they passed deflections. They showed up when they needed to. It It was fantastic. They scored 14 points. So MVP goes to the defense. So for the offense too, uh, takeaway number two and to, and to summarize, it's bad. It's really bad. Now, are we gonna, are we gonna, we're going to can the season? Is the season over at one and one No, you, tr- you keep trying to get better. Does the offensive line need to get better? 100%. Can you work on things? Yes, you can. So the Matt Canada offense, the offense in total, it's not working right now but at least they scored a touchdown. At least they're trying to get better and they had better yards near the end of the game. I'm still pretty hopeful on this offense to get better. And I'm always like that. But if people are saying this offense stings, the season's over, we're going to go seven and seven and 10, then we're done. Then you might as well stop watching. Just stop watching. I don't care. Anyways, the last point is Kenny Pickett. Kenny Pickett, people are giving up on Kenny Pickett. It's only been two games. Two games of Kenny Pickett. So I'm not giving up on Kenny Pickett. And like I said in my live stream, I'm not giving up on the games. I'm not. Not at all. 
I just don't understand it. We come away from a win, a crazy game, and we have such negative takes on the team, but they snuck away, they fought hard, and they got away with the win. You can win and correct. Sometimes, guys, I see them out there. You're unhappy or annoyed if they lose, and you're unhappy or annoyed if we win. And sometimes you just can't win with that. Anyways, guys, anyways, guys, that's it. I'll see you later.